it is. Good day at, is this filming? Yeah. It's filming. All right, good day at least. Today we are shooting week one of the pull-up challenge with Coach Sepp. Good morning, good like evening. This? Making everybody seasick. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to the pull-up challenge. Uh, welcome to week one. What we're going to do in these videos is show you the movements, right? So all the movements in the three sessions from Someone this week. You. No, we are, there's no one there. <laughs> We are not going to tell you all about the rep schemes. That is going to be in your notes on SugarWad. Um, so check that out to make sure you know what your rep schemes are going to be. This week, we are encountering in the workouts, inverted barbell rows, an active hold on the pull-up bar in the rig. We are encountering dumbbell rows, a one-arm banded pull, and a dumbbell curl. And in our last workout, we're gonna see the inverted barbell active hold and the banded face pulls. So we're gonna show you these movements now, um, and then hopefully you can have fun with them during your first week of the pull-up challenge. Inverted barbell rows. I was gonna say push-up challenge, yeah, but it's pull-up challenge. Yeah, you did, you did good. So for the inverted Let's go. barbell rows, guys, we are going to place a barbell in the rig, and we need to secure our barbell. So how do we do that? We wrap around a band to make sure that that dumb, uh, barbell is stuck to the J-hook. Super. Our barbell row inverted position is going to be from the floor over here. We're going to try to keep an active shoulder position and our body is a plank. From here we're going to pull ourselves up to the bar and release down to the bottom. Notice that if I let myself go, my shoulders fall back down into the socket. We want an active position by pulling our shoulders tight and pulling ourselves up to the bar. Ladies and gents, we can scale this movement by putting a higher barbell or our body position on the barbell. Let me show you what happens if I take a higher barbell. I can still go quite low in my position here and pull up, or I can put my feet further to the rig and from there, active shoulders, pull myself up to the barbell. So you scale this by playing around with the height of the barbell on the rig and the feet positioning further or closer away to the rig. Athletes, challenge yourself. Find yourself a good scaling uh, option that's going to make those last reps in each set challenging. There's no point in taking an exercise that you could uh, crank out lots and lots of reps, no problem. Challenge yourself throughout these movements. For the active hold, we're going to get on the rig. We're looking for a hollow position. Wait, Shh. stop, I need to get a position. <laughs> we're okay, gonna go. have a pull-up grip on the bar that's slightly wider than my shoulders, right? We're gonna have our thumbs over the bar on the grip. And from here, I'm going to pull active. My shoulders are pulled tight and my toes are pointed out in front. Thinking about that hollow position. I'm, show, shh, I'm showing the toes. Point the toes. Point the toes. And my shoulders aren't down here. They're pulled up together nice and close. Active hold. Solid. Okay. Easy. Yes. You are. I am. I Lay on up for some dumbbells. So the second workout we're doing this week is going to be involving dumbbell rows, one arm, banded pulls, and dumbbell curls. We're gonna do some bodybuilding. <laughs> I'm not that big, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> We're gonna start with a little tiny bit of a dumbbell. I'm not that strong, so I'm using a lighter weight. But, like Seb said, I do wanna challenge myself, so I took a weight, which I can do about the last one or two repetitions of this movement are gonna be really heavy for me. So we're gonna do the dumbbell row. So you need to do this one on each side. So first I'm gonna start on the left side. I'm gonna put my hand up and I'm gonna put my right hand up and my right knee. Now make sure I'm not gonna put this really close because then I'll be arching my back. What I want is a straight back. Tighten up my abs, proud chest straight back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, have that active position. Grab the dumbbell, support yourself on your left foot. From here you pull in the elbow close towards the belly and you pull the dumbbell towards the belly. Try to gently lower the, the, the dumbbell. Don't go up and down like a maniac. You don't want your entire body to be shaking. You want to have a controlled movement on this dumbbell row. When you've done one set, you roll it over to the other side. It's really comfortable. From here, again, shoulder, shoulder over the hand. Support yourself straight back. Gently pull in the dumbbell towards the abdominals. 
that is going to be your dumbbell row. Then straight on to the one arm banded row. Uh, I prefer a green band, it's a little bit tighter. If the green band is too heavy, you could use a blue or maybe even a red one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hook it up high. You're gonna sit down on the floor. Tuck your feet in so you can support yourself on your feet. You have a little bit of push away. Prime chest straight back, lean into it. So you're not gonna sit up straight with an arch back. You're gonna lean into it, straighten out your back a bit. From here, pull in the elastic band towards the chest. Gently let it go. Pull in, activate your lats. Pull in, so when I'm here, loosen up your shoulder. So don't hold it tight, loosen it up. As soon as you're gonna start your pull, activate the shoulder, pull it in, and then pull in the elastic band. One more time, full extension, full range of motion. Activate the shoulder, pull it in. Do it on each side. And then we're gonna finish it off with some, oh my God. <laughs> we're not doing that with the bands. <laughs> nope. Sometimes we show you what not to do, athletes. <laughs> and then we're gonna finish it off with some dumbbell curling, one arm at a time. We're gonna do a little spinny. We start in the hammer position, we rotate in, curl it all the way towards the chest or shoulder. Gently open up, rotate in, curl it. Now what I don't want you to do is skip it. This, it's not a dumbbell curl. This, it's not a dumbbell curl. Good rep, Leon. <laughs> not. Okay, so what we want is proud chest, squeeze those abs together. Proud shoulder, so pull your shoulder backwards. Full extension of the arm. And then we rotate it in. Keeping that elbow tucked in, nice and tight. No swinging, no leaning into it. Nice and clean repetitions. Again, if you want to make it more difficult, grab a light, uh, heavier weight. If you want to make it more easy, lighter weights. Challenge yourself for these movements. And then I'm gonna turn you over to the beautiful and lovely Sepp. Who, me? Hola. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, on today's uh, in workout three for this week, we're gonna look at an active hold on that barbell, similar when we did the inverted rows, except we're holding it on the top position. Let me show you that one again. We're going to find the barbell connected to the J-hooks. We're going to find that row position, and we're going to hold it on top, squeezing my shoulders tight, and finding somewhere that is shaky, right? That I'm really challenging myself that I need to hold that top position. Again, scaling with the height of the barbell, and the positioning of the feet. We're gonna pull ourselves in and squeeze our shoulders tight, holding an active position in that active hold. Last one in workout three is going to be some banded face pulls. You wanna take a red band, attach it at about eye height, your face height on the rig. From there, you're gonna take a few steps back, connect, uh, hold the rubber band in front of you, and we're going to Pull the rubber band tight to my eyes. We want to really make sure we're pulling our shoulders back in these face pulls. My shoulders pulling it back. If it's too easy, you need more stimulus, take a step further away. And again, pull tight and control it back. Looking Down. like Schwarzenegger. And pull and back. John W. Rambo. <laughs> For some banded face pulls. Athletes, Please enjoy today's, uh, this week's, sorry, this week's workouts. Um, ask a coach if you need help and see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao. ciao.